This section is going to look at linear systems. So we'll start with what is a linear equation? Well, when you think linear, you may think back to geometry or algebra and think line. And that's not wrong. In general, a linear equation in n variables is any equation of the form a1x1 plus a2x2 plus a3x3 all the way up to a and xn is equal to b. a1 through an and b are all constants and x1 through xn are variables. So lines are linear equations. If you want to think three space, a plane is also a linear equation. So basically a linear equation is just going to be any equation that has the variables without being raised to any exponents, being multiplied by another variable or anything like that. The only thing we want is variables times numbers and then adding them up. So a couple of examples. y equal to 2x plus 1. So y equal to 2x plus 1. This is going to give us just a basic equation of a line. A more complica complicated example. 3x1 minus 8x2 plus 4 x3 equal to 7. So this is going to be something in 3 space since we have 3 variables here. In fact, this defines a plane in 3 space. Another example, 8 x1 minus 4 equal to 7 x3. So I specifically wanted to point this one out because it is not in the standard form given, but it can be rewritten to be in that form. So it does qualify as a linear equation. In addition, I'll do a couple of what I'm going to call non-examples. So these are examples of things that are not linear. One example, negative x squared plus 4y equal to 0. So this is not linear, in particular because of this squared term. Another example, 2x1 plus square root of x1, x2, minus x3, equal to 9. That's a 3 there. So this one is also not linear for two reasons. One, x1 times x2 throws things off from being linear. In addition, variables underneath the square root sign throws things off from being linear. One last non-example, x1 plus 1 over x2 is equal to 17. So this has to do with the fact that we have a variable on the bottom of a fraction. So all three of these are non-examples. You cannot rewrite them to be in the standard form of a linear equation. So they are not linear. So what is a linear system? Well, a system of linear equations, also known as a linear system, is a set of m equations in n variables. And they're of the form of this. So basically, a system of linear equations, or a linear system, is just a group of linear equations. Instead of one, you have several that you're trying to look at all at once together. So an example, 2x1. 1 plus x2 minus 2x3 equal to 3 x1 minus x2 
minus x3 equal to 0, x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 12. My pen doesn't quite want to work here. So this is going to be a linear system because it's an entire group that we're looking at all at once. Let's try another example. x1 plus x2 plus 3x3 plus 2x4 equal to 7. 4x1 minus 3x2 plus 8x4 equal to 10. So this is also a linear system. My first one here is three equations and three variables. The second equation is two equations and four variables. So these can be all different sizes. They can have as many variables as we want, and they're still linear systems.